So this video is a request from a friend suggesting I tell the story of my little boat here. It's been featured in most of our videos this summer, uh, fishing on the river. So I wanted to tell the story about this boat and why it's special to me. Thanks for watching. This boat is my 1978 Naden N14S Fisherman and I have it paired with a 1982 Evinrude 9.9 .9 outboard which I call my Frankenrude and we're using a Garmin Striker 4 depth finder. This summer we used this boat about 30 times at the new boat ramp in St. Agath, Manitoba. It uh, was quite a bit of fun to use this boat on the river there. Um, and it was just about the perfect size for the shallow water conditions due to the drought this year. The exterior of this boat is pretty rough. Um, it's earned every bit of its patina over the years. This was a rental boat at a lodge for many, many years, and then it was left to be neglected on shore for many, many years after that. So this video is to tell the story about this rig and to tell you why it's special to me. This boat is in rough shape, but I did put a lot of work into it to make sure it was seaworthy. The hull is dry and the transom has been replaced, which I'll show later in the video. Naden boats were originally manufactured in Iowa, but later in the mid-70s, the manufacturing moved to Vermilion Bay, Ontario, which is where this boat was made. This chart shows the different models that were available at the time. Mine is in the middle of the page with an N14S Fisherman. It's 14 feet, 3 inches long with a 65 inch beam and can handle about 900 pounds capacity. My history with this boat began in 1979. My parents rented a cabin at a lodge called Woodland Resort in Suneros, Ontario, Canada. And this was really the first boat I'd ever been in and it's the boat I caught my first fish in. And so this is a picture of my brother and I, I have a twin brother, um, riding in the front of this boat on one of our first trips out. It's my dad driving. The motor on the back of the boat being used is my dad's 9.5 Evinrude. It's a late 60s model and I still have that motor and I use it occasionally. We continued to go to this resort into the 90s and when my brother and I became teenagers my dad rented this boat for my brother and I to use to have some independence on the lake. Originally the boat was blue but the lodge repainted it somewhere along the line to be white with green trim to match the Woodland Resort logo. We continued to stay at the lodge into the 90s until the lodge closed. At that point the boat was pulled up on shore and neglected for decades. Fast forward to 2019, long past the time that we'd been going to the lodge, I happened to be going through our local Kijiji and spotted a 14 foot Naden that happened to be green and white. And I thought what are the chances that that's one of the boats that used to be at the lodge that we used to rent. So I had a look through a photo album, if you remember what those are, and I found a picture of the boat at the dock at the lodge and it has the matching registration number on it along with the beginning of a lot of its patina. So I had to have this boat. I bought the boat and brought it home and we set to work right away on fixing the seats, putting in a new transom, and getting the gunnel straightened out as best as we could. I was lucky enough to have my helpers help me put this boat back together and it was kind of a nice project to be able to work with my kiddos on this one. Next project was to get my dad's motor out of storage, 
and do some repairs. It needed coils, points, condensers, and a water pump to make it run properly again. Then in June of 2019, 40 years since the summer we first used it, we put it in the water and my brother and I had a chance to fish together in it. When I found out a new boat ramp was going to open in St. Agathe, Manitoba in the summer of 2021, I set out to fix up my Frankenrood and give it a tune-up and get it running properly. I decided to use this motor instead of using my dad's late 60s Evinrood because it's quite an heirloom piece to my brother and I, and uh, so I wanted to use my Frankenrood in the event we use the motor as a depth finder. And sure enough, I used it as a depth finder. So on the evening of June 4th, 2021, we took our little boat over to the river, and I believe we were the first people to officially launch a boat at this new boat ramp. So 42 summers after the first time I was in this boat and caught my first fish in it, I was able to spend quite a few trips, I think we've done around 30 by now, uh, on the river with my kiddos. So this boat is pretty special to me. I've been able to be in it uh, with my dad to learn how to fish and now I've had the summer to have quite a few catfishing adventures with my kiddos. My brother borrowed the boat and was able to share this experience 42 years after the first time he was in it with his son and his son's girlfriend. So pretty special experience. So I know the exterior of this boat is pretty rough, but I'm okay with it. Like I said earlier, it's earned every bit of its patina, all of its scars and dents, and it's just been a really special boat to be in from childhood to adulthood. So I thought I would share the story of this boat. It means a lot to me, I plan to keep it for a long time, and I hope to get many more summers of adventures out of it. Thanks for watching.